I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. For journalist Maria Hinojosa, inheriting two cultures may have been a confusing journey while growing up, but thankfully it led her to consider an important question that would guide the rest of her career. I'm less than two years old when I arrive in the United States. Raised on the south side of Chicago during the civil rights era, feeling pretty invisible, pretty voiceless. And so something was born in me that said, you know what, we have to be able to tell these stories. The hopeful storyteller headed to Columbia University and reaffirmed her passion for storytelling after discovering a palpable void for an entire community without a voice. I started doing a bilingual radio show called Nueva Canción y Demás. Every year, thousands of children from Latin America attempt to reach the United States to reunite with their parents. Pulitzer Prize winning journalist Sonia Nazario brings us their stories. As a Mexican immigrant to this country, I understood the power of journalism because I knew that it didn't exist in Mexico. This is an essential core of what it means to be an American. I think in my gut I understood that this was such an important part of what it meant to be living in this country, but I never saw anyone like me doing this. Maria successfully carved a niche for herself as a preeminent journalist, earning rave reviews on PBS's One on One. But it was on HBO's critically acclaimed documentary, The Latino List, where Maria nabbed one of the most important interviews of her career. Interviewing Sonia Sotomayor. Most people don't achieve things naturally, whatever that means. Oh my God, that's extraordinary. For my family, for my daughter. You're a natural writer, you're a natural actor, you're a natural lawyer. There's no such thing. All of these things have to be learned. Tell me about what it's like to be a Latino in the United States today. How often has somebody asked you that question? We don't have time, we're busy, we're trying to make it, we're trying to survive. Giving the opportunity to these people to tell their stories and the fact that they're telling them straight to camera. I was just more weirdly in between. You just immediately see like their polite face. Yes, we're gonna sit through this audition, but we're never calling you back. And I think that this goes to the heart of what many Latinos are experiencing, which is, do we stay, do we go? Are we loved, are we hated? Are we American? Do we have to show our papers? Could we be deported? Do we belong here? After years of interviewing some of the most influential Latinos in America, Maria believes there are still many stories left untold that may someday answer the important question she once asked herself as a child. The big question is, who are we in the United States of America? Who are we as Latinos? We get mixed messages. 20 years into reporting about Latinos for, for Latino USA on NPR, you would think that Latinos were in every part of the media already. They're not. So 20 years forward, it looks like we still need a Latino USA. We still need an American Latino television because we still need to tell these stories and we still need to be able to tell them so that younger Latinos or older Latinos can say, I'm visible, importo, my story es importante.